Hello families, this week we'd like to share with you our kindergarten pack. So our kindergarten pack is, will come in this um, bag, this shoulder bag, and this bag is a great thing to use for next year. It has a space where you can write your child's name, and this can be used for your library bag next year. Inside this bag, there are lots of, um, of brochures and information about keeping your child safe on the road. So this is a great thing to go through with your child and talk about how they can be safe around roads. A very important thing when they're starting school and they'll be around roads. Now inside this bag, there will also be an, a yellow folder. Now in this folder, there are some important documents that need to come back to school. So. We have, next year we will be having um, an organisation called STEPS who will come into our school and they will be doing a vision test with your children. So if you would like that to happen, you would need to fill this one out. There's information here. Fill this one out and there's some additional information there as well. So a great thing to get done, especially at the beginning of school. So there's also some information there. There'll be an orange form. The orange form is a language survey, so if you can fill this in um, about any languages your child speaks at home. Um, if you could fill it in, even if you don't speak another language at home, so we know that that's the case. There is a pink form. The pink form is a family information, so if you could also, we do have um, some information, but we would also like this filled in as detailed as you possibly can and return this. There's some information about the prices of summer and winter uniforms. Code of conduct for our school, the parents approaching, anybody approaching the school. There's information about when you do need to make an online um, payment. Uh, information about making payments for uniforms will come in a couple of weeks, but there's some information to get yourself um, ready for that. There's some information about our speech pathologist. So we will have a speech pathologist attend two of our sessions. This is the information regarding that. We also have um, a form that we would like to be returned as well. And this is our scripture form. So scripture is a mandatory um, education in public schools. So if you can tick which one you would like your child to attend and just name and signature. You'll also find uh, an agenda of what we will be posting on Seesaw. So um, from week one to week six, we'll be posting different bits of information. So um, if there is something that you are re you know, interested in or wondering where you'll find that information, um, you can have a look down here and see when that is. So as you can see, uniforms will be in week five. Okay, so along with the forms that we are asking you to return, there is also a lot of um, different brochures that we're sending home for your um, information. This is a crunch and sick brochure, so it's just some information from New South Wales Health and some guidelines on what should be in a healthy lunchbox, um, including packing fruit and vegetables and preferably fresh fruit and vegetables and fresh water every day. There's a brochure on our um, oosh, which is our um, after school care that we have in our school. We will send home a name card for your child. So your child's name will be on this card and they will, so it will have a dotted line, it will have some blocks and it will have a line for them to practice. And on the other side, you'll see that there's um, all the letters of the alphabet. And how this works is they start at the dot, the arrow is the guide on which way they need to move their pen. So they can use a whiteboard marker and they start on the dot, follow the arrow around and down. The so same thing again, start on the dot, down, up and around. So they can use a whiteboard marker on this card and um, that can be wiped off. This is a laminated card and they can use this card over and over to practice their letters and their name. So this will be individualized with your child's name on it. 
There will also be a booklet on Cecil Hills Public School. So everything you could possibly need to know about what happens in our school will be in this booklet. Getting ready for kindergarten, another great source of information on lots of things that you will need to know or questions you might already have um, about what happens when we're getting ready for kindergarten. This is a very special little book as well. This um, has been made by Cecil Hills Public School and it's just got all of our different staff members. So Mr King, our principal, um, our office ladies. It also has some information of who these people are and what their role is and how they can help you when you come to school. So Mr Tom and Mrs Jenevic, our deputy principals and also some important places that they'll need to know about um, when they start school, like the canteen, the toilets, the bubblers, the chickens, the library, and the hall. So lots of, um, lots of pictures and lots of ideas to just start talking about what school will be like and what things that they will be expecting to see. Um, another information about preparing your school, child for school from New South Wales Health. We have also put in your pack a school canteen menu, and this has been updated for next year, as well as how to order online. So a lot of family, families now prefer to place the orders online. There'll be a brochure on our PNC. So we have quite an active PNC, Parents and Citizens Association. So it might be even something you could consider joining. And then we have another document from um, the department and it's all about um, information about you understanding what is involved in your child's education. So it, come, it starts from kindergarten right up to year six. It talks about all the different um, subjects that your child will be learning throughout those years as well as the time that they will spend on those um, subjects. And then it gives you a bit of an overview on what subject in what um, year level they will actually be um, doing and learning about. So some great information and just an overview, but still some great information so you can see on all the different subjects what they'll be um, learning throughout their years at school. So thank you. Um, I hope this is some great information and take your time reading it and thank you.